Well, since y'all didn't hate the last video that we did, the tie-dye one, um, I decided to do something else. And actually, I got a box filled with 25 white cassettes. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you all how to splatter tapes. It's very messy, but it is super easy and it's also super fun. And I do recommend doing at least maybe one run of tapes like this, just so you could experience how it is, because I feel it's kind of like a rite of passage for making tapes. All right, so first thing you need is, of course, your tapes. Uh, these are completely white. So one side we're gonna do orange and the other side we're gonna do green. And then you do need some blue painter's tape as well. You need protective eyewear because you will be flinging paint and it's gonna get everywhere. You don't want it in your eyes. You need some paint brushes. Uh, you are gonna be flicking them or tapping them. You'll see how we do it. And of course you need paint. We're gonna be using orange and green, Craft Smart, which is, I, I wanna say like the cheapest one, but uh, this is acrylic paint. You wanna use acrylic paint. It will uh, stay on the tapes longer. It do, they do look uh, a little nicer, and when you do splatter them, if you get like little bubbles and stuff, it's not really gonna hurt the tape or it's gonna hurt tape players or anything like that. So yeah, acrylic paint, that's what you wanna be using. And for legal reasons, since we can't use newspapers, we're just using regular blank white pieces of paper. All right, so you get your cassette right here, and what you wanna do is that you wanna cover up these little parts right here, as well as down here, and you don't wanna get any paint on your uh, actual tape part. So what you're gonna do is that you take your painter's tape, kinda stretch it out, make sure it is lined up with your little section that you wanna cover up. Tear off a piece, and you don't want to put like the entire tape like that. You kind of want to cover half of it. So we'll do that right there. Perfect. And then uh, on the bottom part, you want to make it look like that. You don't want to apply too much pressure on the actual part. Just kind of lightly tap it so you could easily remove it as well. So that way, uh, this is protected. You're not getting any paint down here as well. And since you're not putting too much force, when you take off the tape, you're not actually uh, pulling any of the magnetic parts down there. And yeah, you're not gonna be getting any paint on there, but I will show you a little later uh, some like painting techniques. And I personally do like to dab some paint down here just to make it look fully painted and complete. Now for this actual part, same thing, you could uh, just measure it out with your blue tape. And just, again, don't apply too much pressure. And you could just cover it up like that. Alternatively, if you do print out your own labels and you do have label paper, uh, these little extra bits down here, if you don't use them for anything, like sometimes uh when you print out your labels some people do use these little sticker parts for just little extra designs but if you don't do that you can do this you can actually put this piece of paper down there but here's the thing this paper is extremely sticky and you don't want to apply any pressure on it you just want to slightly tap it and just leave like enough so you could just pull it off and that way it's gonna be perfectly circled with your uh, little sprocket parts right here and then you could just easily remove it and again do not put too much pressure on these uh, little label parts because these are designed to stick on your cassette forever and again same with the blue ones you don't want to put too much pressure on them because that way you could just Take it off like that without hurting anything uh, down here. And yeah, you're all set. All right, so when you get your tape looking like this, uh, you don't need to worry about the backside now. Place it on your little uh, paper. Get some paint. Get a, not too much, get it nice and rolled and just flick the shit out of it. Get a little more. There we go. That was a good one. That was a good one, yeah. That was too good. <laughs> and there you go. There we have a decently splattered tape. Remove that. And since uh, what I kind of like to do, since there's that like down there, just give a little, get a little dab here. Get a little touch up. 
and there. We got a splatter to tape. All right, and after 15 minutes, uh, all the tapes are done. So we just gotta let them dry up a bit. And then we gotta do the B side. And yeah, our hands are super orange. Let me see yours. It's like Cheeto fingers. Yeah, it's like we were eating Cheetos. And yeah, it's a little aftermath of the orange. All right, and we're gonna go do the green now. All right, we're not gonna bore you with the other painting, but here is the last bit, the B sides, all painted and ready to dry. Here is the final product, our tape, and uh, shout out to Alex Posca of Pacific Nature for making these J cards, so let's pop it open. And here it is, the orange side and the green side. And here is the final product. I actually really do like the way these turned out. And I do recommend doing this for at least one of your releases. It's super creative. It's unique. You could personalize each tape. And hey, I did this during quarantine and it did kill like a couple hours. It was very quick to do, super easy, and they do look pretty damn nice. If you do want a copy of this tape release, link in the description below. And with that, we're going to end it here. Hope you all learned something and uh, hope you do try this out as well. And we'll see you all in the next one.